Our partners at Hertz are celebrating their everyday heroes, ordinary people doing extraordinary things and going out of their way to provide exceptional service. Here at Hendrick Motorsports, we have plenty of everyday heroes to help make this organization what it is. We are recognizing a few of our own heroes throughout the season. I'm here with Mike Broskin, uh, you're a mechanical engineer specializing in 3D printing. Uh, so appreciate you being here and, and thanks, for, um, thanks for all you do. Thank you, I'm honored to be here. How basically did you get your start at Hendrick Motorsports and you know, I guess the education that led up to that point or, or kind of get involved here? I was uh, actually on a vacation here with my family when they announced that um, University of North Carolina at Charlotte was starting a motorsports engineering program. And I thought, that's it, that's the secret, that's what I need. One semester away from finishing my degree in Pennsylvania and withdrew from school, put in my two weeks notice at the plastics factory that I was working at. Yeah. Spent my last dollar to rent a U-Haul truck to move down here to North Carolina. I didn't even want to tell my family that I was doing it. <laughs> uh, I didn't want anyone to try to talk me out of it. Tell us about what you do and uh, how you accomplish maybe those last minute deadlines that you have going on. Yeah, there's a lot of last minute uh, parts that have to get out as we keep trying to, to gain incremental speed. And uh, one of them that I can remember was, uh, it was in 2016 when Jimmy was um, running for the championship and he was in the final four at Homestead. So one of my vehicle engineering friends came up with an idea to try to combat the glare that the drivers see. Yeah. Um, as the sun begins to set. So he hurried up, drew it up. I printed it overnight. I think it finished at about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, so I came in at 5.30 that morning, got it out of the machine and did some quick cleanup work on it and got it in the hands of one of the crew members who was flying up that day. Yeah. Um, so seven hours before first practice, that visor went up to, wow. went down to Homestead. And as luck would have it with two laps to go, he took the lead, won yeah. the race and his seventh championship. I guess the demand on your schedule is really high. You know, what's what's the schedule look like for a week? Oh, sure. I mean, as as demand increases with a limited number of machines, um, I do my best to try to schedule everything so that the machines can finish and I can take those parts off and get them turned around quickly, get the next set of parts building right away. But sometimes, I mean, machine finishes at 2 a.m. and we've got a demand to get another part out to the racetrack right away, and I'll be here at 2 a.m. Now, that's not because I've got a boss breathing down my neck making me do it. It's yeah. because I've got 600 Hendrick Motorsports teammates here. Yeah. And we all have the same competitive desire to win. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to be the weak link and let one of them down. We want to thank Mike for everything he does for Hendrick Motorsports. And thanks to all of you for watching. Be sure to stay tuned all season long as we recognize our Hertz heroes at Hendrick Motorsports.